Hey Siri, what's Google? I'm Kelly Grant from MarketWatch, and while that might be a question that Apple is hoping that consumers eventually ask, certainly not going to happen anytime soon. Apple is taking steps now, though, to edge Google's presence off of its iPhones and iPads. Rumor has it they're working on a partnership deal with Yahoo, where Yahoo would add more data and maybe some more functions to the iPhone, potentially even replacing Google as the search provider for mobile web search. But analysts say that's not likely to happen anytime soon, and any forays that Apple and Yahoo make are likely to be pretty slow and carefully considered. After all, Apple doesn't want another Apple Maps debacle, which, if you remember, is when they replaced Google Maps with Apple Maps last year and really turned off a lot of consumers and tech analysts. Google Maps, when it was eventually available as an app, soared to the top of the download list. And even if Apple does manage to replace a lot of Google functionality on the iPhone with features from Yahoo or anywhere else, consumers still have the option, of course, to download Google's free apps to their phone. Right now, Google has five of the top 100 free apps on iTunes. Pretty good indication that people like those Google products, even if Apple really doesn't want them to.